Yes, brother. Uh, my name is Lee. I'm a student. My question is that earlier you mentioned that Jesus is also a Muslim because he submits to the will of God. Um, and this is regardless of the fact that he drank alcohol, he didn't pray five times a day. You know, he, he, all he, the only action he did was submit to the will of God. So given that, that thinking, that logic, wouldn't that mean that any person of the book, Christian or Jew, is in fact a Muslim as long as they agree to mis submit to the will of God? Whether if I understood the question correctly, you said any person, whether Christian or Jew, etc., who submits the will to God is a Muslim. Yeah, as you said about, about Jesus, you said Jesus is a Muslim right. for that reason. But brother, I do agree with you. Anyone who submits the will to God in Arabic, you call him a Muslim. But you should first know what has God commanded us. If you think something else, if you read a scripture which is not the word of God and start thinking or submitting a will to God by following a scripture which is not the word of God, then you are not a true Muslim. So first you have to identify what has God commanded us. And if you do a comparative study of all the scriptures of the various world religions, you will find out if you use the test of science, logic, etc. The only scripture that passes the test is the last and final testament. If there's something like Old Testament and New Testament, the Quran is the last testament. So if you want to truly submit a will to God, first you have to find out who is this true God. What has he commanded us? And after that, you have to submit your will. So therefore, when I say a true Muslim is a person who follows the commandments of Almighty God. Now, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a messenger of God. He directly got revelation from God. So surely he followed the will of Almighty God. So today also, if a Christian, supposedly, what the talk is based on, that at least let us agree to follow what is common in your scripture and my scripture. Suppose you will say Bible is the word of God, I am saying Quran is the word of God. So let us agree to follow what is common. What is different, keep it aside. So your Bible says believe in one God. So if you believe in Trinity, you are going against the Bible. The word Trinity does not exist in the Bible. But it is in the Quran. Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter 4, 171, Wala taqulu salasa, don't say Trinity. So if you believe in Trinity, you are going against the Bible. For the Bible says that, that you should not do idol worship. Bible says you have to believe in the last and final messenger. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now, for he when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that the year shall he speak. He shall show you things to come. He shall glorify me. So if you are a true follower of the Bible, you have to follow in the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. That means you have to follow the Quran and the sayings of the Prophet. So if you follow the Quran and the sayings of the Prophet, you become a Muslim. So my talk is based on, let us agree to follow what is common. Differences, as I told earlier, I can give a talk on hundreds of contradictions in the Bible, which I don't intend doing. There was a person who wrote a book in USA, Dr. William Campbell, that there are 30 scientific reasons in the Quran. I went to Chicago and had a debate, and I clarified all his misconception. And when I pointed out 38 scientific errors in the Bible, he could not reply to any. So I cannot attribute these errors to Almighty God. So first I have to identify which is the book of God and then follow it. So even if you agree for sake of argument that Bible is the word of God, even then you have to follow the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So let us agree what is common in both the scriptures and let us agree at least implement on that today and come to common terms. Hope that answers the question. Wow. That was a beautiful explanation. Um, I don't have much to say because I'm just short of words. But uh, I think this, this guy actually asks that why is that Jesus does not pray five times daily if truly Jesus is a Muslim? And I think I didn't get that answer from Zaki Nike. He only spoke about okay what christianity believes in okay he spoke about the trinity he spoke about the uh prophet mame being the last and final um messenger or final messenger yeah he spoke about the fact that um prophet mame was you know announced in the bible I was expecting him to actually answer that question of why did he pray, pray five times daily, but it was all nice and I enjoyed the whole conversation. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.